the palpebral fissure is essentially the opening of the palpebrae, the eyelids. And we also have a lateral canthus. This is sort of where the top eyelid comes in contact with the bottom eyelid and forms this edge. We have a medial canthus, again, on the medial side, but that's where your top eyelid comes together with your bottom eyelid. And we have the caruncle. The caruncle is sort of this pink fleshy tissue that you find in the medial side of your eye here. And again, the palpebral fissure, this opening, which is what we look into and see the eye. You can see the iris, which is the colored portion of the eye. And if you look dead center there, you'll see the pupil. And the pupil is basically the opening into the eye. We are looking at an anterior view of the eye. To orient yourself, this is your forehead right here. If you remember your frontal bone. This is your cheekbone out here, your zygomatic bone. Your nose would be right about here. This is obviously one half of the face and we are looking at the right side. So this is a right eye. So I wanna describe some of these external structures that we see here. I'm gonna start with the lacrimal gland. This is a bilobular gland that secretes lacrum or tears into the eye. So lacrum, tears, come across the eye like this and basically wash from lateral to medial. When the palpebra, right, superior palpebrae, inferior palpebrae, when your eyelids or your palpebrae are blinking, 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 and those tears wash from lateral to medial, eventually they're gonna make their way to two tiny little dots right here. These are actually two little drains right here. We call them puncta. And we have a superior lacrimal punctum down here we have an inferior lacrimal punctum and those drains lead into these canals that we see here so think of a canal as sort of a waterway and right here we have the superior lacrimal cunniculus here we have the inferior lacrimal cunniculus so these cunniculi lead all the way into our lacrimal sac lacrimal sac. Now remember, in bone anatomy, you learned N-M-L-E, not my lazy eye. Nasal bone, maxillary bone, lacrimal bone. So there's that name again, lacrimal from the term lacrum, tears. Here's that lacrimal sac. So the tears have washed all the way here to the lacrimal sac, and then they run down the nasolacrimal duct. And that's the movement of this fluid across our eyes. Now, if there's excessive amount of crying, right, this lacrimal lake is sort of going to overflow and start to head down your cheeks. Um, sometimes if you've cried a lot or if you're, you know, um, experience of time where there's, you know, e extreme tear buildup, I suppose, uh, you'll have your nose start to run. Um, sometimes this really does happen when we cry a lot. Your nose starts running a lot. And, and really that moisture is coming from the tears that you're producing, washing through and coming down this nasolacrimal duct.